Hamilton's White Shield. It's an uh, English IPA. Um, and Worthington is uh, the second oldest brewery, uh, continuously brewed beer in the UK, I believe Whitbread is, has been brewing beer longer. This is uh, 5.6. Uh, ABV and it's bottled conditioned. Uh, it, it's now owned by uh, Molson Coors. But still has a very, very good reputation. Okay. Let's see how we are here. Ooh. Ooh, the head is kind of high. It's about a four finger head. That'll resolve itself. Very, very fine. Uh, I would call it like a light copper color with uh, carbonation coming from the bottom. Yeah, it's very nice. It's a uh, Another reviewer said it's very, very get a very good floral and malty uh, aroma. Yeah, very different than American IPAs when you have more of a. Uh, there can often be citrus in them. And the mouthfeel is very it's smoothly. It's, it's very, very little bit of carbonation on this. It's a very good looking beer. Okay, this is like a classic, classic IPA taste. It's very pungent. Um, let me get a little more of that. There's no fruit on the <clears throat> on the taste. Uh, it's just it's very malty. Uh, it'd be hard to describe. I can't think of the adjective of the taste, but it's. Very, very crisp finish. It's very different than anything I've had before. It's uh, almost like doughy in, in the taste. Um, bready. Bready is the best adjective. You hear that sometimes with IPAs. Uh, and this is, this, this is real classic because I've been in, in the UK and I've had beers. Uh, a lot of beer there. And this is right in line with malty, bready, doughy type of beer with an excellent finish. I, that, I really like the finish on this. A slight bitterness. Let's see how the hops are. Okay, so the, there is some hoppiness to it. It's not very. It's not really over the top at all. It's, it's just, the whole thing is very, very smooth, classic, uh, uniform beer. See, that's one thing that 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 makes English beer, in my opinion, really stand out. Whether whether it's Sam Smith or in, in any kind of English beer that I've had, that's good. They all, from the color and mean times like this, from the, the color, the aroma, all the way down to the finish, is a continuity. American beers don't have that continuity sometimes. You know, the incredible aroma, kind of an off uh, mouthfeel, and then the uh, taste can be sometimes 
not <clears throat> in sync with the aroma. Uh, this is classically balanced. It's a very drinkable, enjoyable beer. And there's a tartness. And I'm getting light fruit now. So, to this, um, this is really easy drinking. So, grades. Okay, I hate grades, but uh, this is definitely, you know, 89.90. Uh, it's a really good beer. And if you see it, I mean, it's not very expensive. Um, try this out. Um, it's one of the it's one of the better English beers that I've had in a while, and it, it's a real classic, and uh, highly recommended. Enjoy your summer.